So now it's only me between you and the drinks. <laughs> uh, so it's been uh, just a remarkable day, and it's, it's time for a round uh, of thank yous. Uh, I, I, wanna, I wouldn't be me if I didn't have three brief points uh, that I take away from the day. And, and really, last year we talked about a new social contract, and uh, many of us had re read and thought about that. And today we talked about renewing America at a time of, of pain and uncertainty. Uh, and I came away with three things I hadn't thought um, about and need to think more about. Uh, one, I I'd, I'd articulated but, but came through so powerfully in many of the presentations today, which was the, what I said to Chimamande, this idea that you have to hear people before you can address them. And we heard it, uh, we heard it with respect to many different groups. Um, I'm, I don't remember Lydia's last name, um, uh, who, who works on faith in Texas, but this sense of, you know, you don't have to, to think that uh, white working class voters need more sympathy than other voters. She made that very clear. But she also said, and it's exactly what Arlie Hochschild writes in Strangers uh, in Their Own Land, you must try to hear and feel the sense of loss, uh, of, of anxiety, of, of disruption in the same way that we would expect them and all of us to feel the pain of many other groups. So this emotion, reason, uh, connection, and you heard Jose Vargas say it as well. Another point was that economic pain brings isolation, shame, and political powerlessness. The point about payday lending, that you feel that you uh, can't support your family, or you mismanage your budget, or you don't have enough money, and that you're alone in that, and you're angry because it's not what you expected, uh, and you feel totally powerless, which is certainly an experience that many, many different groups of Americans are familiar with, particularly uh, Americans of color. But I thought that the idea that it creates isolation and that part of what we need to do is then connect uh, was something I'd not thought about. Uh, and it also connected to what Derek Hamilton said about uh, defining uh, GDP or wealth or what we seek in a nation in terms of increasing human agency and the ability to self-define uh, and achieve uh, your potential. That in, as opposed to sort of, a, he was quoting a March of Sen, but this, this notion uh, that I think is also implicit in our education program that what education about is enhancing agency. It's enhancing that, that sense of control over your destiny. And then finally, uh, that last panel, you know, how to have a conversation. And in some ways, that's what all of today has been about. We've had great conversations, uh, but as Cecilia asked Jose and said, how do you have a conversation? And he said, you start um, by questioning yourself and getting your interlocutor also to question themselves. So his point when he is, of, he of multiple identities is talking to a white person and he says, where are you from? And I was amused, um, uh, just uh, I've talked to Indian Americans who say the question is always, where is your home place? Like really trying to get back to, to a particular way of being from. But the idea of, question, of really getting everyone to question themselves as a way then of trying to, to put things into question that can then create bridges as opposed to speaking from certainty uh, and expecting others uh, then that to persuade them with the, the certainty of your own facts. So those are uh, three of the things uh, I took away. Um, I started today by, by talking about uh, values uh, and a common foundation of values and a frame of the Constitution. Uh, the things I think that bind us that I took away again from today, more um, maybe things that we don't always think about, food, I love the idea that we can all love mashed potatoes, uh, and frankly, Filipino and any other kinds of food that have dramatically improved the American uh, uh, native, uh, the American diet in my view. But uh, faith, I was very struck by the talk uh, of, of uh, interfaith, multi-faith uh, movements as a way of reaching people. I, I'm, 
In my view, it is part of the American creed to believe in faith, not any particular faith, and it doesn't mean everyone believes in a God, uh, but it do, this notion of, of believing in something larger than you are as being a bridge uh, to others. Uh, family, and then finally, uh, Cecilia put this beautifully when she talked about uh, claiming your place or your rights under the American creed is an act of patriotism. It's an act of love of country. It's an act of saying those values that Americans, America's founding documents proclaim, we, we believe that and we want uh, to be recognized as part of that country uh, and that, that that to me is extremely important because we are so busy looking at the hate and the division that I think we often lose sight of our shared love of country. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Uh, I wanna thank uh, many people. Please hold your applause until I get to a couple people right at the end. Uh, so you can see what, what an extraordinary day from the, what, I forget who defined it as a farmer's market, uh, <laughs> farmer's market chic, uh, but you know, every, every, uh, every detail, right? From when you walk in and you saw a place to sit and be comfortable and have conversation, uh, all those details take so much work uh, and these are the people who brought it to us. Amanda Cools, Clara Allen, Tyler Bug, Ayanna Hunter, Margaret Streeter, Laura Pratt, Maria Elkin, Joanne Z Zalatoris, Buzz Hogan, uh, Simone McPhail, Morgan Alamo, Alex Norbakish, Sabia, Sabia Prescott, and Kibe Nova Martinez, Hannah Passan, uh, Awista Ayub, Hal Albert Ford, Jessica Guiley, Joe Johnson, you're gonna wonder, is there anybody in New America who is not part of this? Uh, Lauren McCarthy, Meredith Hanley, Dana Jew, Mariatu Santiago, Adriana Ramirez, Andrew Lomax, Isabel Bonniman, Brandon Tensley, Kirsten Berg, Kathy Bryan, Ross Vanderlind. Give all of them a round of applause. <laughs> and I've left two people out. You will notice um, I left out our spectacular MC and producer of all of this, Veronica Mooney. Uh, you know, I, I watch her with amazement. I wish I could have imported her to my family. I, I look, uh, she does it with grace and ease and substance and attention to detail. Uh, and really, uh, without her, we simply wouldn't have had this day. So a special round uh, for Veronica. <laughs> And finally, and I think I'm gonna choke up, but um, this is, <laughs> I am gonna choke up, John. This is John Williams' um, swan song with New America. This is, he's our director of production. Uh, he's run production for five conferences. Um, he's been so much more than that. He is, uh, he's always there. He, uh, he offers us everything from great sound to a spectacular drink, uh, but also just a generosity of spirit and a warmth uh, that makes you happy to come to work and see him. Uh, and he is leaving us because he's pursuing uh, a dream uh, of uh, going off the grid and, and living, uh, raising bees and other things. And uh, I think many of us are a little jealous, um, but uh, you know, John really exemplifies in many ways what is best about New America and about being a community and a family, and we are gonna miss him. He's still part of us, but uh, thank you, John. And in John's, in John's honor, let's have a drink. Thank you. <laughs>